It's my sister's boyfriend, a news story that I recently heard. Ryan is a lovely young white man who's dating my sister. Um, and one of his friends recently said to him, like, dude, like, your, your girlfriend's Muslim, right? And, she, and Ryan says yes. Um, and he's like, have you ever used the, what is it like to use the bathroom at their house? Um, and he was like, I don't know, it's fine. He's like, he's like, but like, they don't have toilet paper. <laughs> <laughs> and Ryan was like, what are you talking about? He's like, Muslims don't use toilet paper. Listen, I wish every bathroom had a bidet, but they don't. <laughs> And I don't know where it came from, but I was like, this kid, this 25-year-old boy, man, child, is asking Ryan about toilet paper in my parents' house. Clearly, right, I mean, I share this because there's a reason why the world relates to my parents the way they do. It's easy to judge them or not feel for them the way you feel for me because there's no list for them. There's no like funny, great, sweet, like humanizing documentary about them yet. And there are few and far between ways to feel for them because when their identities, right, being who they are has never been softened, when the masses are never given an opportunity to warm up to them, when we are constantly at war with people who look like them, they will never be fully human to you. And if they cannot be human to you, Neither can I. <laughs>